Hey guys, this is my first video ever. So here it goes. I'm really excited to try some of the new stuff I got. And I'm really excited for the 2020 season. It's definitely going to be an interesting comp season this year, that's for sure. My base, I'm starting out with the NYX Professional Makeup Base Primer. So um, just biggest thing to remember with makeup is that a little bit goes a long way. So with this, I'm just going to put the tiniest bit on my fingers. So I'm actually going to start with my eyes first. So I'm just going to prime the lids of my eyes. And again, um, I feel like on uh, social, social media right now, there's this huge movement to like carve out your eyes. I don't think you really need that much. The look I'm going for today is just a basic, classic uh, ballroom eye. And I'm sneaking in some blueberries. That's my nighttime snack. So I'm going to start with just a really light neutral color. So I'm going in with the Morphe palette that I have and I'm going in right here with this shade which is Siesta and again this is just my starting point so I'm just giving my whole eye a really nice neutral beginning to start with. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm going in with the tattoo, Maybelline Tattoo Studio number 370. Brows are done now. Um, after that, I typically go in with brow gel. I'm out right now, so I definitely recommend that. It helps kind of keep your hairs all in place and gives it a more defined look, which is always what we're going for with ballroom makeup. I'm going to take a, just a typical, um, loose brush like this, and I'm going in with the shade, uh, Caffeine Buzz. It's this one right here. And I'm just going to start working this into my crease. And again, you want to be pretty generous with this at first. And I'm going for a full lid cover. And the easy rule of thumb, especially when we're playing with once we get into darker colors, is you can always add more, but you can't take it off. The next color I'm going to go in with is called Rally Time. It's on that same Morphe palette, this brown color right here. Um, so I'm going to be going in and just again going a little bit lower than that shade above it. We want to be creating a line from the nose to the eyebrow, so an easy way of doing this is just connecting that and that's how far you want to be taking out your eyeshadow. So I like to clean it up just with a q-tip at the end so don't worry about blending it out farther. Next, I'm going to go in with that same Morphe palette I'm going in with all night long. It's this dark brown right here. And I'm using this little brush with um, really short bristles. That's way you can really control where the powder is going once you get into those darker colors. So I like to start out because I know I really want that base by the eyes really dark. 
and then I'm going to work it up into the crease. After you're done with that and you blended it out really well with that brown again going over it, you're going to go in with the black. I just do just the smallest bit in the bottom corner to keep that darkness level. You can do really any black. So again, the smallest bit goes a long way. I do intensify it right by the eyelashes. Well, once you have the black on, it should be looking pretty intense. Again, just make sure it's really blended out. Next, I'm going in with my glazing eye gloss. And this is this is like an eye jelly. Now that it's on, I'm going to go in with my blendy brow and just keep blending it out. Um, just soften up these edges. Now that my eyes are pretty much done, I'm going to go in and create that line with some micellar water and a pad. So I just use the Peachy Garnier micellar water um, tip. Uh, you have to shake it before you use it. Once you have gone over with the Q-tip and cleaned up your lines, we're going to do the bottom lash. So I use the brush I already used with the black. I'm not going to put any more product on it. I'm just going to blend it down into my under eye. That neutral brown again and just softening up the edges. So now I'm going to go in with the liner. Today, for liner, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Liner. It comes in a little tube like this. And I'm going to be doing just a really thin line across my whole lid. An easy tip with winged eyeliner is when your eyes open, you're going to just go straight across and put a dot. And then you're going to pull it in to that line. So once you have that liner on, obviously it's really thick. That's totally okay. You have to remember in bottom we're wearing really dark eyeshadow. We are wearing big fake lashes. So the liner needs to match the lashes. And especially if you're doing black base like I am, then this just really helps sharpen up the edges. Um, when you close your eye, it just creates that winged look. For my bottom lashes, I just try and be really soft. Um, I don't like doing really heavy eyeliner on the bottom, just to kind of help keep my eyes open. So once you have that bottom on, then we're going to be doing that cat eye look. So we're bringing the liner into our eye. Um, again, this is just another illusion, making your eyes look bigger. Once you have your liquid eyeliner on, then we're going to go in with a white pencil. Mine is the NYX brand. Obviously, you can use whatever you want. So we're going to go under uh, under this cat eye and then fill in our waterline. Again, 
focusing on creating that illusion of our eyes are bigger than they actually are. So we're gonna go in right here. Okay, once you have the white eyeliner on, go ahead and go back in with your brush that has the black eyeshadow and I'm just smudging, blending that out. All right, so I just added some mascara. Of course, my first video, of course for my first video, I forgot lashes, so mascara is gonna have to do, obviously, obviously for competition, you always wanna have fake eyelashes. Um, again, the mascara just doesn't really cut it compared to the false eyelashes. Next, I'm going to prime my whole face with the NYX Hydra Primer. Again, you know, it just a teeny bit goes a long way. Next, I'm going in with my foundation. I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay brand in the color Light Medium Neutral 27N. And this is supposed to be pretty full coverage, long lasting wear. So once you have that all blended in, um, again, this is a little darker than my natural because I bought it for competition specifically. One thing to always remember is to always get the back of your ears. That's the spot that it doesn't get tanned. And so always rub your foundation behind your ears and down your neck just because we never want that orange face. We never want that clown clear cut look. We always want everything to be blended back into our neck, especially because our hair's not down, it's always slicked and up. Next, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color 22N Light Neutral. So again, same thing, a little bit goes a long way, especially with this one. It's very high coverage. And because my face isn't super structured, I always um, do down here because I want to create that uh, cheekbone and jawline. Okay, next we're going in with a translucent powder or a setting powder and you just want to set that concealer area. Um, personally, I don't really bake too much. I just like to set it with some powder, especially since I'm so sweaty from dancing. It's nice. To have the powder it kind of absorbs some of that sweat so i just kind of do real messy uh, just powder set set that powder next i'm going in with bronzer so for me i like pretty defined um cheekbones so i put it and make sure again, obviously when I'm dancing, I don't have flyaways. So you're up in here and then um, don't work your bronzer. Don't work your bronzer down. You wanna work it up into the face because we want it to lift into the cheekbones.
then always do under my chin. Usually um, for dance you'll be tanned, so um, the big thing is just making sure your tanner and your face have a nice even blend. You don't want your face to be as dark as your skin, but you still want it to look nice and even blended. Then I typically just follow the rule of three, so I do forehead, three, down. Might not recover from that one. That's why you always tap your products, people. So you don't have a big blob of bronzer on your forehead. Just blend it. Uh, even when you're dancing, you always want to do a blush, so I'm just going in, this is Mary Kay, I'm going in with these two colors right here. Tap that brush, and I like to start up here, just again, in case I do have too much product, the last thing you want is big fat rosy cheeks. So always start up here, and then I work up. Um, I like to put a little bit of blush just on my nose. Helps that continuous look. It looks a little more fluid. Okay, next thing is lips. I always recommend using a lip stain over a lipstick purely because that way it doesn't smudge in your costumes. Um, I really love Maybelline Superstay brand. I've never used their Superstay Ink Crown. So that's what I'm going to use today. I really like this peach color, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, this goes on smooth like butter. And always remember to do the crease. And you can always overdraw your lips a little bit if you want to. Just remember, you never want to overdraw the sides. You only want to overdraw the center of the lip. Again, this really isn't my style doing the big lip, but from and far away, it definitely does give you that exaggerated lip line if that's what you're going for. All right, and the only thing that I would add is some highlighter and I so I'm just doing a little white eyeshadow. I can't find my highlighter anywhere, so there. That's what happens when you move people. So but a little bit of sparkly white eyeshadow does the same thing. Just make sure you blend it out. You can use a big brush or a little eyeshadow brush. Just make sure it's nice and blended. Just do a touch right here. Kind of lighten that up. And then I always do a teeny bit on my Cupid's bow. Dance, so you have to be careful because if you do it too high up, you're gonna look like you have a sweaty lip. And we don't wanna look like we're sweating, even though we all are on the dance floor. So just be careful you don't do it right up here by your nose. That's where our sweat line is. And there you go. That's my basic makeup look for any ballroom competition. Thanks for watching.